It is the other sound of Argentina. Rivaling tango in the national psyche. An hour out of the capital, and I'm amongst grazing cattle, where the famous beef is reared on the pampas grass plains. Well, my grandfather bought um, the farm in 1934. 1934? Yes. So since then, it's in our family. And, well, my father insists to keep it. Yes. And so, well, we had to keep it. Of course, Eva Bolecke kept El Umbo as her ranch, or Estancia, as it's called. Today, four generations on, there are now two sources of income, those on four legs, and more profitably, those on two. I like my cattle, but the most important thing are you, <laughs> the tourism. So the cattle and the guests? Yes, yes. The important paying guests, like me, come here to see a different way of ranching, one that is steeped in Argentinian tradition owned by the Spanish and indigenous gauchos who tamed this land. Here in Argentina, like the ribs. If you do a, a barbecue here in Argentina, the people, they want this. I'm a true city dweller, sometimes squeamish about the fact the cow I was wrangling yesterday is on the grill tomorrow. I don't want to start a worldwide debate, but here's the beef. And is it the best in the world? Poor sausage. Here we have some blood sausage. We have the chicken here. If you go to any house here in Argentina, they're going to have maybe something small like this one, but they're going to have this system, no? In general, when I have friends and we want to, to be together, they call me and say, you want to have an asado today? Just asado means just come to my house or something like that. and. We share the moment, yes? That is very typical. I want steak. I want mm. steak. One. Ah. And here we have the steak. Yeah, now you, we're yeah you like that. And so to the test. Does the best beef in the world come from Argentina? Grass fed, lovingly raised, beautifully butchered, perfectly cooked. I don't know whether the best comes from Argentina. Mm. But it's bloody good. <laughs> <laughs>